Last video, you guys said, yo, Yardman, where is the 66PG? We want the 66PG. So I had to go ahead and make it yesterday. I'm talking about, I don't even have highlights other than what you're seeing, which is me just literally trying to play random wreck. Well, you know, if you do too much drip moves in random wreck, you're done. I went in there with, obviously, and so it's not purely random wreck, but I'm running with randoms. So I have to be on my best behavior. And I have some poor man highlights for you guys. But I'm going to get you guys the build and get you guys some highlights on stream and some more videos with the build. It's finally here. Yo, Cho, Guan, everybody. I know y'all probably like, y'all, my gamer, where were you yesterday? Y'all probably were not. NBA was going on. I, I, I know you were watching the NBA. The NBA is back. I'm almost there. I had to take time. You know, card is dropping. Gonna be on that card on the second channel. I'm almost at starter four. That is my goal for the year. Starter four. Today, you're gonna get the six foot six build, which is what I've been using to hog this rep. Use my builds as a template, guys. My builds are from my play style. Not everybody plays like me. Not everybody desires to play like me. And vice versa. Use my builds as a template. You understand me? If you see something you would like to change, you use it, just change it. All right. That's just it's just that simple. Right hand, anything for the jersey number. And let's get into the build. First thing we're gonna do is six foot six. Drop the wingspan all the way down. It's we're gonna drop the weight all the way down to 180. Minimum weight. All right. So you get a potential 94 three-pointer. Because if you put it up, you get 93. 94 three-pointer. Your dunk is a potential 95. Spiel ball, high as it can go. Um, ball handle, high as it can go. And you still get good defense um, caps, right? No. Obviously, they just fix shot contest. Now, I don't know what they did with rhythm shooting, but that's a whole nother thing. First thing we're going to do is go straight to the three-pointer. All right? Now, take in consideration, this is a cap breaker build. You do get a cap breaker at level 40, but this is for mostly people that are okay with using this build until they get starter three all right and it should be pretty easy to get starter three with all this double xp events coming up unless you really really are busy 24 7 in real life and you don't have no time for yourself to have some hobbies which is not healthy make sure you spend some time on yourself all right eight to seven dunk is what we're gonna go with now that gives me contact they broke the, the dunks anyways they're canceling out a lot of your animations you're gonna miss some dunks that you know you greened it's just 2Ks. I don't know what direction they're going in. Let's go 40 standing dunk. This is more than good enough. 45 to me, now that I've been using this yesterday all day, 45 is overkill. All right, and I've been in a rec center with this build. We're running with Randizis. Anyways, let's go down to ball handle. 91. Yes, 91. Yardman, what? You get silver on pluckable? Guys, I tell you. If you're a starter three, go ahead and put that plus one on the ball handle. If you're not a starter three, still put, put the plus one that you get a level 40 on the ball handle. You get a lot more attributes. Actually, when you drop the ball handle, it, it gives you the most attribute space compared to any other stat that you're seeing right here. More than the three pointer, more than the, the speed with ball, all that. I'll say it's neck and neck with the three points, all right? But you don't want to drop the don't want to drop the three pointer because obviously you want to get that 94 three pointer and you can only put five attributes on a three point cap or any cap in this game you can't go above five on one category all right so 91 use the level 40 if you're not a starter three to get that 92 and guess what you'll be all right you'll get that gold unpluckable at 92. so 93 for gold and um icon assassin but we don't need that all right, now we're going to max out the speed with ball. Get that gold lightning launch. If you drop it anything below that, you're going to get it silver. And gold does make a difference. So, And when we get our level 40, I mean not level 40, when we get our max um, plus one, we're going to be able to put it on Hall of Fame. And that is a, that's a game changer. All right. Now, pass accuracy, we went ahead and put this all the way up to just a 78. Now, Ant, I was playing with Ant in the regular state, and he was trying to figure out what was my pass accuracy on this build because I was throwing some steamers. Yes, the first place I ever used this build was Wreck. You're, you're, you're welcome. First game ever with it, I'm dropping buckets. Now, obviously, I'm running with randoms. I'm not trying to dribble too much. I'm trying to catch the rock, do something quick, or pass the ball. All right, because people are going to still play me as if I'm running with a squad. That's just the, the way it goes when you're a YouTuber. All right, so... 
Go with a 78. I usually put 79 on some of my bills because I have the attributes to, to use. But on a 66, you don't have the leeway like you did last year. You don't have the attribute space. So leave it at a 78 and you're going to be good enough. Now, defense. <laughs> they say, y'all my gimmick. I bet you didn't put no defense on this build, huh? You never want to put defense on your builds. But not everybody plays your play style to the build is trash, y'all, man, because it doesn't have defense. All right, brother. If the build trash, then the build trash. I love making trash builds then, all right? You got me in 4K because I'm elite with the trash builds then. So it must be a skill issue. You see it? So if the build trash, hey, it is what it is. Use it as a template. I like the build the way I'm about to show you how to make it. This So I prefer the build. You probably make a build I might think is the worst build I've ever seen, but you know how to finesse the build, right? And there's going to be people out there that play just like you, which is why a lot of people on this channel, they come to my channel for the builds because they have a similar play style and they don't want to take the time to be in the builder looking for looking for stuff when they want to get on the game with the limited time they have so they can maximize their fun and get an escape from this world. All right. So first thing we're going to do is going to go perimeter. They did fix their perimeter when it comes to the contest. All right. 83. He said, y'all man gaming, bro. Why not 85? Because you don't need silver on ball menace. And if you really want silver on ball menace, then just cap break it. All right. I know it's just sound like I said medicine, but it was menace. All right. Just cap break it to not cap break it. <coughs> you can cap break it, but you can use the max plus one as well. All right. You can cap break it plus two and you'll be all right. But we don't want that. All right. We don't want that. You can do that, but I don't want that. All right. I think an 83 is more than good enough because you get silver pick dodger once you put up your agility, all right? You don't get that silver pick dodger. On ball menace, to be honest, it, I don't feel the difference between silver and um, bronze. Now, gold, I would say yes. Gold is our next difference. So it's going to be up to you. But for me, the way I want to use this build, I do not need silver on ball menace. I have it on my other 6-6 six, six lock. Obviously, it's, Hall of it's legend, actually, on my other 6-6 six, six lock. And I have it on my 6'9", which is silver. Now, 85 steel is what we went with. Yes, you're welcome. I went with an 85 steel. All right? You're probably not going to like my next guard build because you're going to be shocked at the steel. So, I mean, unless you are a comp guard or a, a dribbler that you can understand the methods to the madness, you're probably not going to like my next guard build, my small guard build. Now, I'm not saying no six foot enough. I'm not saying that. I'm saying just no. If you like defense too much, this is going to be my first build where I'm pushing the limits of the defense. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead and leave the interior at a 50. I'm getting stops in the paint easily with just hands up defense. And in the rec center, you know, people take some brain dead shots. And I've been getting stops in the paint still easily. All right. So go ahead and put up the block to a 56 because that's the highest it's going to let you go with the stats that we're going to have. All right. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You see, I have all these attributes left. Let's go ahead and make it so our vert is a 75 so we can get those dunks. All right. We want those contact dunks. Put up the, the strength to a 60 so you can get strong handle and physical finisher. All right. Now, strong handle is supposed to help you from getting those big Superman on uh, Brock Lesnar style defensive animations that the lockdowns will put you in if they bump you. All right. It's going to lessen the chances of it happening compared to when you don't have it. No speed. Very important on any build. 87 speed. All right. I went with that 87 speed. I feel just fine. I feel like a, I feel like a lockdown out there. I feel like this is more important than this. I'm telling you, I feel like this right here. Sometimes I'm just running around with no L2 and I'm just trying to track them. All right. Because I've, I've been, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it. All right. Anyways, agility went up to a eight, uh, 77 and now I can get my shifty shooter. Once I do, you know, cap break it. I will show you the final product right now. I'm going to load up on it right now and show you what I cap breaked. But this is the build right here. It's going to call you. I took it to start in five. <laughs> it's really, I, I really use it like a lockdown in there. But I, if I need to get a bucket, I can make it. I can make it annoying for somebody out there with this build. I've been just testing out six and stuff in there. What better place to test some stuff out? Anyways, this is what I'm going to show you what I use the cap breakers on. Actually, let me pull it up. So, I told you this build gets a potential 94 three-point shot. Well, all my builds I've used this year 
before I hit starter three, all had a 93 three pointer or one of them, specifically my six three had a 90. I know with a 93 three pointer, I'm going to be more than good enough. I don't even have to put another one on there, but I will. You understand me? I will put another one on there just because of my play style. But hear me out. I would not compromise on not going for that 92 ball handle. Make sure you go for that 92 ball handle, guys, please. Do not come out here with silver ball handle, silver unpluckable, trying to dribble against no good luck. You're going to get plucked. All right. Obviously, I've been getting plucked a lot with this build because it's not at gold yet. All right. I didn't use my um, badge elevator to put that up. I put my lightning launch up. All right. Anyways, go with a 92 ball handle. Just put one on there. That's all. And you can use the one from level 40. You don't have to be starter three for that. Now, once you get that starter three or if you are a starter three and you get that level 40 what i would do now is max out the three pointer if you play like me or you choose or you desire to play the same way that yaman gaming plays and we'll be using this build all right now this build i'm gonna try it out obviously this is gonna be a dominant build in the park no questions asked park theater pro -Am, i'm gonna dominate with this build for the most part because it's like a lockdown when it comes to the stage now it's going to be interesting. Now, when we get SGA dribble style, no doubt this build is going to be nasty because I found a size up that goes with SGA dribble style that will make it game changing. All right. Anyways, for right now, all we can use is what we can use. This is Kobe White dribble style. With Kobe White dribble style, I'm going to see how it goes on the stage. Yes, I'm crazy enough to take this to the stage and try it. I will get boxed up on stream for you guys if it gets boxed and you will see the product live. I hate to lie to you guys. I don't know if this is going to be good for the comp yet, but we will try it on stream. Anyways, if you are somebody that like Yaman Gaming, I play park. I don't need no 94 three point shot. I don't need that. All right. Save your plus five attributes at starter three. And why don't you just put them on plus two on defense, right? So you can get the perimeter. All right, now you have three left to use wherever you want. Put the three on the three-point shot. Now you get 92. Boom, there you have it. You see what I'm saying? Anyways, big up on yourself. I'm big up on the mighty. What else can I do now? Oh, Jeevan, I don't know the thing already. Y'all, man, gaming, gone.